Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Farmer Bob and <laughs> awesome to be back with another video. Hope you guys are having an awesome time and uh, yes, thanks for joining, thanks for watching. If this is the first time that you are watching my channel, don't think about it, just hit that subscribe right now. Don't even think about it, just do it. <laughs> it's, time. it's time, that way you'll be reminded and uh, stay up to date with my content and my maps and everything I do. And thanks guys for all of those who have been supporting me through the year and everything. I really appreciate that, obviously. Great man, so what are we doing today? We're having a look at Sandfeld again, uh, one of my South African maps that I've built. And uh, just going through a few of the comments and things that uh, um, has occurred over the past few months. Um, I just want to address a few things on how to play this map and how to customize it, you know. Um, there's a lot of people that has asked changes on the map which I cannot do because um, I try to keep the map map authentic you know uh, for those of you who don't know this map is obviously one of the builds um, that is a actual farm in South Africa so the um, so the to topography of the map is what is there in real life you know it's got the river at the bottom although it's not as nice a river as i've built here yeah? it's a smaller stream or rather um and uh obviously and then the mountains in the back and the slope up the mountains and the more flatty side on the left you know there's nothing i can do to change that because that's what what it is there in real life you know so <laughs> and, and why would i want to change that because it's awesome as well <laughs> that's how it is but anyway for and obviously the the fields um if you look at the fields, they are all circular, most of them, not all of them, but most of them are circular, like so. And with addition to those few there, and from 17, 18, 19, and 20, which is square or rectangular. Um, but most of these big fields are circular because that's exactly uh, on the coordinates how they are there in real life, you know. And then obviously I've done some uh, fields that is not there, you know. Um, I think if I remember correctly, I think some of these are not there. But yeah, this has been a few months ago. <laughs> so, but anyway, guys. So yes, uh, what you can do to to uh, maximize this map, it is so simple and easy. I'm going to do some some things here and just show you how to easily transform this map. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything ready and then I'll continue the record because um, otherwise uh, it's going to take a long time to do that uh, or, or a long video, you know, which is going to be boring me shifting equipment around and what, 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 you know. So, yes, without further ado, guys, um, this is Sandfeld and um, it starts off with a host of equipment and all the equipment you see here is equipment that is uh recommended by the actual farmer from the farm <laughs> so this is not my choice of equipment it is what the farmers use because in real life it's a potato farm and that's why you actually have this uh huge potato shed here um, and the buildings is not the same buildings that is there but it's close to what i could find you know to make the map but the layout of this farm is fairly close to what it is there in in real life you know the farmhouse down there the offices here and the the workshop here and then also the the packing shed and stuff up here you know so fairly close and obviously the animals all around the farm that is not there in real life because it's not an animal farm but for for the sake of uh, of farming simulator and other people that wants to play the map and enjoy some animal husbandry and and so on we had to obviously accommodate that in the map as well you know um it will be totally ridiculous to make the map <laughs> without those and having the guy to buy his own stuff you know but anyways these are there to sell you can sell them if you if you feel so inclined to do um you can just go to the shop and then to the garage and then in here you'll find anything that you want to, don't like just sell it sell it off there's the all the animal husbandries just sell them off even the uh, um even the farmhouse and everything else if you don't like it just get rid of it 
and uh, or just start the game uh, on start from scratch mode <laughs> then then yeah, you'll have a blank canvas to play with play and enjoy anyway let me quickly set up I'll, I'll be back with you in a flash right so here we are guys uh, we are standing on the top of field number one and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use course play because a lot of people don't really know what course play is and how to use it. But if you don't have course play, just download it from ModHub. I'll try to remember to put a, a link for the download um, in the description of the video. So yeah, just check, check it out there. Um, or just go to modhub.us um, and search course play and it will pop up easy as pie <laughs> in case I forget <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to follow that it's easy instructions um, just another thing guys you'll see uh, in the middle of uh, or close to the middle I've tried to do it as close as possible of it, all the circles are small little dots and that is basically just a reminder of where the center point is of the field so that you if you use that um, that spill point that uh, um, um, yeah, what's it called in English now uh, um, the pivot if you if you want to make use of the pivot system then at least you have that little dot there in the middle to to show you it somehow roughly where the center is <laughs> you can play around with yourself uh, um, about finding that all right so first things first on on uh, course play uh, on my mouse it's right click i know it's annoying on the right click but i haven't changed the button configuration yet but you can do it in settings change your button configuration so i right click and i'm just going to go select that one and i say start course recording and what we're going to do is we're going to drive now uh, straight line to the top of um, field number two so just run so we're making at the moment we are creating a, a border we're going to fence uh, or create an edge a field edge rather is the right word between field one and two and we're just going to drive on the side do this and make a nice field edge all around so i'm going to keep on talking nonsense while <laughs> between the edge um, just to show you how to easily make this map very enjoyable quick and easy if you're not into the pivots personally myself um, in the game I haven't really found the pivot system that work really nice there is there is a few pivots that you can download um, and I've tried all of them uh, to, to be honest there's just a lack of um, adjustments on them you know uh, first of all you need to go into the game uh, into your game directory uh, that's the one where your mods is not not the install directory but the game directory under your my documents you'll see there's a my games and then forming similar nine similar to 19 that's where your mods folder is so you go in there and then you um, uh, you have to select the, the game.xml file and you have to edit there is a rotation setting that you need to change in there and once you've changed the rotation settings um, I think you have to change it to 120 or something like that or 720 sorry I think it's 720 that will give you two rotations of the pivot of or any any of the pivot systems you know so uh, without that your pivot will only turn like 30 degrees and then it will stop because I think the default value for that rotation is 30 uh, and that is in the degrees guys so and I think on the on the pivot systems if you uh, if you hit that one 720 it will give you two rotations and that will be enough to empty the tank once so then you have to fill the the pivot systems uh, fertilizer tank or water tank or whatever you decide to put in anyways enough about the pivots uh, you'll see I'm driving with the center of my vehicle on the edge that is where the, the little dots are formed for the waypoints so you try and stay on the center with the center of your vehicle exactly where uh, you want the edge of your field to be so what we're busy doing is we basically amalgamating two fields field one and two and we're going to make them one field we're going to plow them into one field 
Um, now this is going to be so simple and easy. These fields need to be plowed anyway uh, in order for us to use it. And I've just realized I've put the plow exactly in the middle of my, <laughs> my waypoint. So I'm going to have to push it a bit, you know. So yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just be naughty and give it a push. We're going to help it along a bit because we want to get our, the ending of our, um, of our edge to be close to the beginning like so and then right click and then you stop like so and we save it and we just call it edge i'm gonna just say edge dot oh, help me to spell <laughs> edge dot like so because i don't know if i've had any waypoints yes i've had a few waypoints here before so which uh, that's for testing you know i always uh, and there it is already i've got the uh, field one and two and i've already made an edge for it previously on my testing because i always test my maps you know guys give it a nice play and um there it is now that you have your um your edge i'm just going to close this for now because i want to hook the plow now let's get this plow going and this you can now do on all of your circular maps, uh, circular fields, obviously. And now, I actually didn't need to start here. I could have start actually there close to the farm because that's where, where your tractors uh, will come from. Uh, um, although um, I like to have things the shortest distance to travel, you know, saves diesel and. Um, yeah, it just makes it more neat, you know, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Grab yourself something to drink. Uh, I'm having a, a nice drink here on the side, so yeah, praise the Lord. Um, good. Great. Here we go, guys. X to unfold. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to cosplay. We've got the edge now loaded. And uh, if you want to see your little dots, you go to this gear you just click on this little thing and it will show you your whole um, what do you call it the whole waypoint system good so what we're going to do now is we're going to program a course for it so we're going into field work which is that one and we go course generation and there you can now see the uh, the field that I've created or the edge that I've created uh, and I've just realized something I haven't updated uh, the map PDA. That's why I've changed the field size on that field two to have a, a gap in between. Um, and it's only field one and two that I've changed. Um, so yes, I have to sometime in the next version update the map PDA. That's why our edge is now <laughs> looking weird. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not that it uh, train smash. So what you're going to do now is you go here to headland. And you want to have your currently loaded course and current vehicle position where, where the edge is going to or, or, or the waypoint is going to start or your start position. I'm going to put a nice amount of uh, passes and so that let's make it 10. I don't know if 10 is going to fit, but it will adjust accordingly. And then we just go generate the course and within a few seconds you'll have your course all laid out for you. Just wait for it. There you go, you see, all nice and neat. And all you do now is you go back, and there's a temporary course. You can save that, call it plow uh, 24 meters, just to be, just to know for now. And then what you do now is you go to um, drive the course, change to first waypoint, which is that one here, the start point, and there you go, you say drive. Oh, very important, go F1 to go. Uh, L allow create fields we want that so you press y once so it shows limit to fields and then now it's going to allow me to create fields and it's going to plow it's actually going to plow uh, all the unmarked things it's going to plow into fields so uh, where, where there wasn't a field it's going to create a field i just want to align here nicely because i don't want the the uh, plow to cut where it shouldn't cut you know so yeah we just go drive the course And then obviously the tractor is going to make a U-turn for some reason. I don't know where it's going, but let's just have a look. Oh, sorry, man. I've, I forgot the, um, I was the wrong way. I always do my um, 
things clockwise. You can set at settings when it creates the, the waypoints if you want it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Oh, I forgot that's why I made a U-turn. <laughs> but it will catch up there. And now all you do now is sit back and relax and the worker will do the rest for you. It will create one massive field here for you in the form of um, field one and two and then you don't need to use pivots on this and you have a nice big field that you can cultivate and plant and it's a rectangular field then or close to rectangular but I must say a field that has got round edges is much easier to run uh, with course play than one with square edges because you're going to have to go round anyway you know and there you go and this way now you're also getting rid of um, this rough edges of the circle because I've tried my best to to uh, eliminate all the rough edges um, but it takes hours and hours to do that but it's so much easier if you just plow them away you know <laughs> and, and I mean fields doesn't really have square edges anyway it's all uh, like uh, random you know and yeah another thing um, these little trees you will not be able to move them or cut them they are not going to be in the way the tractors go off I've, I've took to collision off them um, not all of the trees um, these oaks and stuff standing there you they have collision but these acacia trees um, they have left them there with um, with no collision on them so you can drive through them they won't be in the way I've tried to I've tried to put collision on them but they they glitch out when you do that I, I haven't ever gotten to fix that trees yet um, and it, to me it's not really a big issue there's not a lot of them in the way <laughs> I could probably uh, if, if you leave the map um, as it is standard then obviously those trees will look nice where they are you know <laughs> but in this case we want to plow now through them so yeah there's going to be one or two that's going to be uh, sort of in the field area you know and there you go guys that's the one thing i wanted to show you on how to play uh, sandfeld i'm going to leave this worker so it can carry on enjoying the plow so i'm going to jump out here just run away and then the other thing guys um this top area of the um of the farm is all sloped up towards these mountains and that's the way it is really there in real life you know so um the way I've done it, if you look here, there's a lot of uh, a lot of area here. Let me just get the flight tools on, then we can uh, just enjoy a bit of a top view. You see that up to here, the 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 slope isn't that uh, uh, steep, but here you can you can easily see there it becomes steeper the the closer you get to the mountain. So there is. I've had a few guys saying, yeah, but the, um, the slope makes it difficult to, to place uh, buildings close to the farm or, or to expand the farm. Sorry, not to place buildings, but to expand the farm. Um, but yeah, I want to just show you how simple and easy it is if you want to um, place a building and you're struggling on a, on a slope. So the next is going to be, obviously, just want to see what fields we start with. Yes. Um, land uh, just to have a look yeah we've got a huge piece of starting land so there's no complaints that you, you you're gonna have uh, problems with starting land so say for instance you want to place a building or something here next to this field let's do that for an exercise uh, go back here just go our flight mode flight modes off and now the slope of the the hill is here and we want to place a nice building down here so let's go buy a building on put something nice and big here let's do um sheds the sheds are normally nice and big uh easy shed three that's a fairly huge shed so let's grab that one put a nice big shed here and you'll see when you place this it will automatically alter the terrain it should uh, so let's go back here now you see it automatically altered the terrain for you so that's part of a, a, a decent mod is it, they have uh, an area allocated and it will modify the terrain but 
if you're still not happy with that, what you can now do, now that you've got a level here, what you can do is you go into the, the terrain sculpture tool, start landscaping, and what we're going to do, I'm going to put the F1 on to give you all the controls. So what we want to do is we want to flatten, all right? So you, you're going to take your, your height here, make your tool bigger. I think bigger is with the right arrow, so make it the biggest you can. So I'm going to put my flatten tool there. Um, let's start here on the corner, because that's the... Uh, that is the side where you um, so we're going to pick up the height there and then just hold both mouse buttons in and it will flatten this whole area for you nicely and that's how simple and easy it is guys so if you I'm just going to go a bit past press F1 to take this away I keep on holding my mouse in um, so we're going to go around and you can do this now, obviously, before you place a building. So if I take this building away now, go to uh, Purchase, Garage, sorry. I've been there now, back. What is going on now? Sorry. Garage is there. Go to the Easy Shed uh, Salad, yes. And then what we can do now is go back in there into landscape tool <coughs> and we can now just carry on landscaping an area you know to make it all nice and flat smoothed out I would suggest doing that beforehand you know And that's a thing from a hilly terrain, you know, you always have an area that that needs some sculpting or changing. And I mean it's part of part of life and part of the game, you know. <laughs> you have to you have to uh, create stuff the way you want it, you know. And now that you've got a nice big flat area, you can now plant grass again here on the sides and go wild. Put some um Put some nice uh, on the painting tool. I think it's X to change. And then you can go tap here at the bottom right to select your ground type. The only thing I don't like about this is they don't give the name for the ground type. So you don't really know what it is. But you know, by the picture you can clearly see that that should be gravel. And then you can add gravel to your, to your whole site the way you want it. You know, just like so. And now, when you place anything that's big here, yeah, I'm just going to roughly coat it like that. I'm not going to be worried too much about how it looks. And now we can go escape. We can go back. And now when we purchase, I keep on doing that. Um, go back to the little sheds. Uh, where's the sheds? Here we go. Easy shed. Now when you place it, you whatever building you've bought will be nice and flat and you've got a nice big surface to um, add and do whatever you want you can now fence it you can go crazy you know buy some fencing put it around and uh, yeah build your own farm the way you like it so yes guys this terrain is not too steep um, it's definitely playable and if, if you look at the size of a, a uh, a ramp or, or, or a filling that I had to do to create this huge flat area this is really not a big slope um, and nothing to worry about guys so easily you can um, transform it the way you want let's just go here to our worker and see how it's um, carrying on creating us one nice huge big field and then once this field is done guys you can farm it the way you normally farm you can but even just to just to tell you um, just to show you that a normal worker without if you don't have um, if you don't have course play and you don't like course play I'm going to quickly show you uh, a normal worker can plow this round fields no problem at all just want to see if we are included I think 
field three is not included in our property here, yeah. but we can quickly buy it. Um, let's just buy it. Have I got enough bucks? I think it will complain if we didn't. <laughs> yes, no. Okay, we've had enough bucks. Great. So, if you plow now, you can work all these round fields with a standard worker. And the way to do that, I'm going to just show you um, how to do that anyways. You can set your worker. Don't set it on the, on, the, on the center. You can do it on the center, but go a bit off center and set it to to uh, work across the field and it will not be a problem well it's not a problem anyway it doesn't matter how you put it it will plow the field or work the field for you without any problems so the roundness of the field um, is not a problem I've tested that thoroughly uh, in game whilst playing so what I do is I set a worker like so to go across alright so let's just wait for it to uh, set up and uh, just remember to take limited fields off because otherwise we will plow uh, our ground uh, and then just hit H alright and there you go the worker will align itself to the to the to the closest alignment for the field and there it goes guys now this worker when it gets to the other end, it's going to either turn left or it's going to turn right. I'm not too sure always how it determines what, which way to, 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 to uh, work. But anyway, it will plow to the very end of the field, to the last one, and then you just bring it back to do the rest um, of what it hasn't done, you know. So yes, for the guys that, that want to make work use of the in-game worker system, uh, the Giants has developed, um, this is the way to go uh, you can set it in the middle it doesn't matter because um, the worker will run anyway and plow to uh, the closest field alignment it can find you know um, and now we'll just see when it gets to the end of the line what way it's going to turn my guess it's going to turn right because the bigger field is on the right and the smaller one is on the left but yeah I've been proven wrong many times <laughs> with these workers and you'll see it should now plow uh, to the last bit of crop which will be on the right because the left is going to end first you'll see now it comes close so I think it's going to turn to the right but let's just have a look so there you go it's plowed to the very end and now which way is it going to turn it's going left oh, no it's going right <laughs> it hinted <laughs> it hinted it wants to go to the left but anyway just to confuse us you know and now the worker is going to just go and plow this whole field for you without a problem it's been working great ever since I've, i haven't had any problems with workers on this map if you do course play um, to 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 work automatically on the uh, to 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 work on the automatic field sizes uh, that's another tip i can give you guys uh, what course play does is it measures the fields automatically when you when you start up your game for the first time with course play it will ask does it scan the fields automatically you say yes and then it checks every field edge and it determines the edges of every field because it's scanned it but if you come and manually drive the round circle and make your own edge for it you'll get a much more precise uh, field edge than what course players determined i found that because otherwise you get a course that that's not straight you know it like takes to the the curves of the of the field and that's another thing guys let me just explain something about map making i just want to get out of the way here because the the um the course play worker doesn't mind if you jump out but the, the, the in-game worker does it stop for you <laughs> very considerate <laughs> i must say some considerate so considering uh, workers here mindful workers all right let's just get our flight tools on I want to show you this as well um, go back go up when you've got a circle in map making uh, I know this is probably boring stuff to those who doesn't make maps but anyway when you have a circle in map making uh, or any round edge you have squares that you have to work with 
I'm not talking about that um, that sword tooth edge there of the fields. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when you mark your fields out with the giant's editor, you have squares that you work with. You don't get round things because you you triangulate. It's three. It's a triangle with three corners that you use to mark out your fields. So it's virtually impossible to make a round thing with a square. Uh, so it means that you have to put thousands or hundreds of small little triangles on the edges to, to, to simulate a round edge. Now I've, on the first versions of Sandfeld, I've um, actually didn't have that many triangles. So, uh, uh, yeah, triangles. So uh, on this version, number three, I've, I've duplicate or doubled the amount of triangles. So the edges uh, that cosplay determined should be relatively better than the first versions. But anyway, the, the way to overcome that on any round field is just to take cosplay and as I showed in the first video, um, just do your own edge. R just drive around the edge of the field and look at the beautiful edge that we have now created uh, with cosplay. It's smooth and round and you won't have a problem with, um, with deviating equipment, you know, running left and right, left and right. Uh, even when you harvest and when yeah, I'm just say sharing a tip with you guys, especially on any map that's got round things. Are the square ones there? It doesn't really matter. It's no, no point, no worries, because the square one you just put the worker in and it drives up and down, up and down, make a U-turn, or you can put a, a, a circular thing, uh, a course for it, you know, to have headlands if there's no space on the sides but if there's space on the sides just run it up and down you know normal course um, that will be fine but yes look at the work plowing this field no problems at all it will continue it works perfectly fine and that's the default in-game worker running here plowing this field just gonna get closer so we can have a look at it great guys um, it's been fun um, chatting with you guys and sharing I'm going to leave a link to the map as well for those of you who want to play uh, Sandfeld, this map. Um, a quick a quick uh, uh, look on the map itself. It's got uh, 25, 32, 32 fields. Let me just have a look if I'm right. 32 fields, yes. 32 fields, got forestry here on the side, a lot of cell points. You can have a look at the cell points. Um, the Cape Agri, the BKB, Sandberg Stasi. It's got a sawmill, the barn, and the vehicle, another uh, selling point, Viking Chemicals. Um, so, yes, um, and also for those of you who are interested, yes, it is precision farming ready. You got everything there. All my maps are precision farming ready, and all my maps are seasons ready. So, you can play seasons on this map as well as um, precision farming, no problem at all. One tip, however, if you find, um, I've, I've found that between course play and seasons, there is sometimes a glitch. I don't know if they've sorted it out yet. Um, it's, I think more it's seasons uh, than uh, course play. But if you start your map and it hangs, uh, it doesn't go any further. It boots the map up until you click start and then suddenly it just freezes. That is an error on on seasons um, if I'm correct um, I think I've troubleshooted that a few times and it always boils down to seasons so what you do if you want to play seasons on this map start the game without seasons just untick it there by your mods start the game save it go out go back in and tick it and then it will run perfectly fine no problem if there is a problem I don't know if they've sorted it out I see seasons 1.3 is out it should be fixed in that version I hope so I haven't tested it though because it was just released the other day and I, I really haven't bothered checking that problem <laughs> but it will be interesting to see okay well guys uh, it has been really fun sharing with you and chatting with you I uh, hope you have a fantastic day man and um, once again, for those of you first time viewers, remember to hit the subscribe, hit the like button. It really helps the channel if you like the content. Give it a like, please. It helps the algorithm apparently for people searching and help to, to promote the videos and that. So it helps my channel. It's the best you can do for me <laughs> if you enjoy my work. Thanks, guys. You've been awesome through the year. Thank you so much. It's been fun. 
Until next time, man. Take care. Cheers.